How's it going guys, it's your boy Psycho. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about um, how to get the control dunk triumph in Destiny 2. It's basically one of the one of the worst and one of the most confusing triumph to get in King's Fall raid in Destiny 2. Uh, I think it's by far uh, the most uh, confusing one to get in the entire raid. But uh, I'm gonna try my best to explain and uh, make it simple. Uh, I saw a bunch of other YouTube videos out there. Uh, they didn't really cover up and explain this mechanic uh, perfectly. There is still like a lot of confusion involved. Who has to pick up and when? Uh, when when the relic has to picked up and you know who who will be the next person to pick it up. But I'm gonna try my best to explain what's gonna happen here. Basically, if you don't know, the triumph is. Um, you must not let the same player deposit the relic twice until everyone in, everyone in the team has done so. That's kind of like really weird explanation and confusing because uh, the way to do this is actually really simple. So basically what you do to start off, uh, you will spawn right here. Uh, like all of your six guardians, like six team, your fire team will spawn right here. And then once you spawn, you'll see one relic on right and one relic on left and then once you pick up these the encounter will start and then you're gonna have to dunk on this uh, statue now the funny thing is that uh, what you're gonna have to do is that whoever picked up these two relics one relic uh, like, let's say I picked up the, the right one which is you know this one and the person who was next to me picked up the left one now we're gonna deposit this and then the best way to do this is people who deposit will stay middle and then defend middle so that they, so they don't go over to right and left side now we're gonna defend middle including me and the other two people who will be assigned uh, they're gonna go left and right uh, to pick up their relic now the best way to actually figure out and do this correctly without uh, messing it up is that uh, the, the way me and my team did was uh, six people so now we dunked in the first statue there are six statues in total and uh, two people who are uh, gonna go and pick up there like for example this one and then I think it's this one uh, this map is a little bit outdated it's uh, from D1 so just uh, focus on my pointer which where I'm uh, where I'm uh, hovering that ones you need to uh, go and collect this map is like from seven years ago, back from D1, so it's a little bit outdated. I apologize. But uh, anyways, uh, back to what I was saying. So the next person goes here, uh, the next two people who's going to go on right, one is going to be the escort, the defender, and one is going to be the runner who will, the who will pick up the relic on the right side. They will make their way from here, and then the runner will get ready in position. By the way, you have to make sure you pick up the relic, both relics at the same time. Because if if you run out of time, you will have to pretty much restart the raid again. And then, you know, do the whole rotation again. Because once the timer runs out, uh, you're going to have to do the, you know, rotation like all over again. Like, you know, the first two people are going to have to dunk. It's kind of, it kind of gets messy. It's just best to restart it. There's nothing nothing's gonna happen because you just landed in the raid and this is literally the first part of the raid so uh we had to restart it like three times before we got it but um anyways so the second the two, second two people which are gonna go right and the two people who are gonna go left they're gonna be assigned two people from them are gonna be assigned assigned to pick up left and right so let's say uh person b uh is gonna go it's gonna be the next relic grabber or relic holder they will make their way with one of the defenders and they will get in position person c is gonna go left and they're gonna get you know and uh, get ready at their location so they're gonna do a countdown they're gonna pick it up and uh, the escort and defenders will you know defend them from phalanxes uh, so that they, they don't get yeeted off they will make their way back and then they're gonna dunk in the second statue so now that's out of the way now the next people who are gonna dunk and collect who are gonna collect their relic and dunk it's gonna be it's gonna be the people who were defending the second team if that makes sense so who were defending person b and c who picked up the relic 
that now they are gonna be the one who's gonna pick up the third relic which is on the right it's gonna be over here and on left it's gonna be over somewhere over here or it can be over here uh like i said this map is a little bit outdated so wherever you see the third relic just get in position before you pick up the relic countdown and then three two one go they're gonna make their way and as for the defenders uh people who are in mid people who are defending mid uh they can go to you know uh, go to their side and then um they can you know help them out clear doors and clear uh, ads once those team make their way uh, like say uh, i think it was d and e person d and e are gonna uh, are gonna grab their relic they're gonna make their way over through it in the middle they're gonna dunk in the third statue now after this this is very important and this is where uh, things get really uh, messy because no one no one is clear over here uh, there's a bunch of videos i saw and they are never clear but once the third team deposit their relics on this one on the third statue this is where it gets really important and this is the key part that if you mess this up you might have to just re reset the whole thing and then you know do it all over again but the third thing after dunking the after dunking the third relic what you're gonna have to do the first people who picked up the relic you know the first team like you know i, I included myself so a and b uh both on right and left side they're gonna have to make a rotation so they can't go on the same side so let's say team one i'll just i'll just mention team one because you know it's it just it'll just make it easier um team one will now switch their sides so now team one will go pick up the fourth relic and then person one of the person who picked up the relic on the right side he's gonna now go left so he's gonna now collect the fourth relic which is gonna be over here somewhere or it, it's gonna be over here okay. fourth relic so person on right from first team is gonna have to collect the fourth relic on left side and then person on left from team one is gonna have to go right side and pick up his fourth relic which is gonna be over here now as for the other people who were with the team uh like i said they're gonna be teamed assigned so let's say a and b uh a, team a uh has to go pick up their right side they're all gonna go left side now so let's say three people were in team uh team one or team a uh basically what they're gonna be doing they're gonna have to rotate and pick up all the relics from the left side and team b who were picking up who picked up the relics in the left side first after after the third dunk they will be picking up from the right side for their you know fifth and sixth uh, four five and six relics if that makes sense i hope it i hope it does because it kind of like gets really messy like i said so again once i'm gonna say uh after dunking the third relic uh, you just have to do you just have to switch sides and uh, that's all i can say so team one will now um will now be going left and picking up the rest of their relics and team two is gonna go right and picking up their picking up the rest of the relics from the right side um once you have all of them just dunk on all the dunk on the rest of them make sure to count down and then uh and then go and then just proceed with the encounter regularly and that's pretty much uh that's pretty much it for this thing it's really not that hard but once make sure you don't run out of time or make sure person whoever picked up the relic do not die because if you die it will of course you know consume time and i think you i believe you have like 30 seconds or 20 seconds to make it uh make it back in the middle and just make sure the doors are open so that you know people who are uh coming through the coming with the relic uh it will be easier for them and both relics have to be dunked at the same time just a quick thing though um uh, our last team who were in charge of picking up the relic both on left and right side they died but we thought that it messed up the whole you know it messed up the whole uh, rotation it messed up the whole encounter and triumph but 
turned out it was not. I have a footage over here that when we finished it, um, we actually got the triumph on the screen as you are seeing right now. So the last two people who will pick up their relics on the right and left side, even if they die, it's not going to matter because they're the last one anyways to pick up the relic. So, and those are the last two relics which has to be dunked in the final statue. So it's not going to matter. So if your last two people who are on for the sixth statue, if they, you know, mess up, it's fine. It, like, it's not going to matter. You will still get the triumph, hopefully. I hope you guys get this triumph. I hope you get it out of the way because this was like a huge win for, for the team and just for the triumph itself. Like it's really annoying and it's really confusing. And after that, rest of that, you can just, you know, tackle through the raid regularly. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you find this helpful. If you did, please leave a like and please share it with your friends so that if, you know, they're having trouble, they can get through with this too. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, it's your boy Psycho. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.